odds are if Rage Against the Machine, Meek Mill, Drake, and Beyonce are on the same playlist, baby, it's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a good workout. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am Tunde Oyunain, and today I'm taking you through how I gear up and cool it down for my current workout routine. This is everything but the sweat. The first thing that I do every single morning when I wake up is I sing a very obnoxious lullaby to my dog, Caesar. It allows him to know that it's a new day, and for me, it just feels like a ritual. The lullaby goes a little something like this. Good morning, good morning, my baby. It's morning, good morning, good morning. It's a brand new day. And then he like puts his hands over his ears because he hates it. Once I've said my hellos to Caesar, I start my day with two glasses of water, water with lemon. Warm room temperature water is the trick. Look, I'd love to say that I was an early riser, like, cause that's the right thing to say. But I, I go to bed pretty late and I, I try to get in a solid seven to eight hours of sleep. So I'd say like 6.30, 6.45 is usually when my internal compass uh, wakes me up. My workouts are kind of all over the place just by nature of what I do. Sometimes I'm teaching a Peloton class in the morning and then sometimes my classes fall in the evening. There's not really any workout that I don't like doing. I'm into strength training and Pilates and yoga. Currently right now, I'm a runner. A year ago, I would have never said that. Six months ago, running terrified me. And every single day, I ask regular people to push themselves outside of their comfort zone. And for me, running is my opportunity to do just that. And so now I'm a runner. I like to think of my food as fuel. Like how do I need to rev up today's engine in order to sustain or do whatever I have lined up for my workout. And so sourdough toast with almond butter, sliced banana if I have some in the house, and just like a drizzle of honey. Tasty, delicious, I've got carbs, good fats, and a little bit of sugar to keep me sustained through my workout. When it comes to my workout gear, I have to feel cute in the outfit. I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Like if the outfit matches, I stay in the workout longer and I feel like I get in a good workout. And so I like to pick up my outfit the day before. I'm either in Nike or Peloton 10 times out of 10. And so it's gotta look cute, I gotta feel supported, and, and it's gotta match, even in my own house. You gotta look good. I wear the Nike Flyknit 2s. There's cushion, there's support, I got flat feet. And then for lifting, I recommend flat shoes. I use Metcons by Nike. And specifically with my running shoes, I like them to be bright. I feel like if my shoes are bright, I run faster. I'd say that the music that I listen to during my personal workouts, it's very similar to what I would program in a Peloton class. Like, I like for the music to tell a story, a clear beginning, a middle, and an end. I listen to everything from house to pop, hip hop, and even rock when I'm working out. Odds are if Rage Against the Machine Meek Mill, Drake, and Beyonce are on the same playlist, baby! It's gonna be a good workout. It's gonna be a good workout. I'd say that my philosophy around working out is the most beautiful combination comes somewhere between a challenge and fun. I'm a big advocate of doing movement that feels good for you in that day. So the plan may be to lift, but if lifting seems too daunting, then maybe you just dance around the house. In essence, it's just a matter of allowing your self grace and enjoying your ability to move. I think that movement is one of the many ways that the body shows its appreciation and celebration for life. Life shouldn't be that difficult. Find things that make you smile and that make you you want to give your best. Rest days, uh, gotta have them, love it. For me, a rest day doesn't mean a completely inactive day. It just means I am giving back to my body day. And so the recovery that you are willing to put in today, it shows itself as strength tomorrow. I can't expect to like test my body and push my body to the limits tomorrow if I didn't properly fuel and recover today. So it's like this, 
this continuum. I am religiously in my compression boots or using a massage gun or rolling out. I will choose sleeping in over pushing through a tired body. It depends on what time of day it is and what I have in store for the rest of the day, but there's usually like a protein, like a chicken involved, maybe some quinoa and some vegetables. If it's the morning, maybe there's a little fruit added to the mix. Definitely a protein shake. I usually guzzle one down once I've completed my workout. Greens, protein, and some type of uh, carb, kind of fat. Typically, I'm headed to some type of speaking engagement or obligation or event or meeting. So I usually am in workout gear or in stilettos, baby. On a perfect day where I lounge around and head back to my house, then I'm usually probably in some type of cotton short with a hoodie set of some sort. If I'm trying to like zen out, I'm like usually in this Afro beat space. If I'm trying to relax and think, like draw in new ideas in classical music. So classical music to like think, to completely not think and zen out, Afro beats or chill house. For it to be true relaxation, I'm feeling zero guilt for the fact that I'm laying there doing absolutely nothing. That's relaxation. And on a good day, time is moving very, very slow. And I look up and I say, what? It's only three o'clock. And then I go get Thai food. And then I come back and then I finally turn the TV on. And maybe it's raining that day. And I'm snuggled up with Caesar, although I wish it was a man. Michael B. Jordan! Call me! Also, Jeremy Allen White is quite the attractive as well. Yeah, ranges, look, musical choices are all over the place, taste in men, all over the place, you know. Just don't judge a book by its cover. For anyone who is just looking to get started, just start one inch at a time, one day at a time. I think that oftentimes we create these really lofty, big goals. Specifically with working out, people say, I'm gonna work out every single day. I'm gonna work out six days a week. I often say uh, to follow my 10 minute rule. The 10 minute rule is you set an alarm, you have a 10 minute playlist and you start moving for 10 minutes. If you choose to work out beyond that, then awesome. And if you don't, you don't. And I think it's a really, really great place for anyone to start. Just start moving. <laughs>